So in the first section of our lecture, Disorders of Menstrual Cycles, we will talk about the dysmenorrhea. In this, we will talk about what's primary dysmenorrhea and what's the association of dysmenorrhea with pain and what are the causes of pain in the dysmenorrhea. So dysmenorrhea is basically, it, the term this is for difficult or painful menstruation. So dysmenorrhea is painful menstruation and this painful menstruation should be, to be labeled as dysmenorrhea, it should be sufficient enough to incapacitate day-to-day -day activities of the patient. So prime dysmenorrhea is labeled as dysmenorrhea or menstrual cycle is labeled as dysmenorrheic cycle when it is affecting the daily day-to-day -day activity of the uh, patient who have dysmenorrhea. If it's not interfering with the daily, act daily life of the patient, usually it is not that uh, noticeable and not significant to be treated. So it requires treatment only when it is affecting the day-to-day -day activity of the life. Then it is can be primary dysmenorrhea or it can be labeled as secondary dysmenorrhea. Primary dysmenorrhea is the dysmenorrhea that is present at uh, the beginning of the cycles when the cycles start or when the menarche is reached and first cycle starts usually it's pain with that cycle or from the beginning of the cycle is primary dysmenorrhea. Secondary dysmenorrhea is usually after some time when the patient complain of pain that's labeled as secondary dysmenorrhea. The reason for pain during the menstrual cycle is the, the release of prostra glandins. These prostra glandins are the agents that cause contraction of the uterus and that can cause pain. So the uh, treatment for this is usually painkillers are used to uh, relieve the pain. Hot packs are used. Hot packs can relieve the pain and cause relaxation of the muscles. Sometimes uh, pain is so bad that the tablets cannot relieve that pain, especially in the first um, 48 hours after the beginning of the menstrual cycle that they need the injectables or antispasmodic injections. Lot of patients um, in the uh, uh, clinical practice, you see the patients who have really bad dysmenorrhea and they have to have get injections within the uh, first uh, 48 hours after the beginning of the cycle to get that uh, relief of that pain. Primary dysmenorrhea is a spasmodic type due to the contraction of the muscles and there is no identifiable pelvic pathology. There is no abnormality, uh, no like fibroids or any endometriosis which are the cause of secondary uh, dysmenorrhea. So in primary uh, dysmenorrhea usually there is no underlying pelvic pathology present. 15 to 20 percent of uh, females, they uh, come uh, to see the doctor with primary dysmenorrhea. So they have this dysmenorrhea from the beginning. The treatment is oral contraceptives and uh, through non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs are the drugs used for the uh, dysmenorrhea. Oral contraceptives are also very helpful in relieving this uh, primary dysmenorrhea and uh, uh, after it gets better, after three, four, five cycles, these can be stopped. 
the association with the pain is um, mostly uh, con confined to adolescence uh, al almost always confined to ovulatory cycles cycles which are ovulatory usually they are uh, painful cycles or they have dysmenorrhea. Usually the cycles which are anovulatory or when the ovulation doesn't take place, those are usually not uh, painful or those do not have, this patients do not complain of dysmenorrhea in anovulatory cycles usually cured following pregnancy and vaginal delivery. Lot of times it's uh, seen that females who have uh, pain during cycles, usually their pain is relieved after they have uh, uh, de delivered first baby uh, and that delivery is normal vaginal delivery, that pain gets better. Related to dysrhythmic uterine contraction and uterine hypoxia. The reason for this um, pain is due to uterine contraction. As, as we mentioned in the previous slide, there is a release of uh, prostaglandins and that prostaglandins can cause uterine contraction and uterine congestion and that congestion also lead to hypoxia. Hypoxia is decreased supply of oxygen. All these can to, uh, lead to the pain uh, during the menstrual cycle. The causes of pain is uh, psychosomatic factors like tension and anxiety and abnormal anatomical and functional aspects of myometrium like uterine myometrial hyperactivity or junctional zone hyperplasia excessive growth of the uh, transformation or junctional zone is also leads to uh, pain. If you see here, these are the endometrial glands, endometrial stroma, then this is the junction of subendometrial myometrium junction. And this is the myometrium. So any hyperactivity or hyperplasia, excessive growth or excessive hypersensitivity of the myometrium can lead to pain. Imbalance in the autonomic nervous control of uterine muscle also leads to the uh, pain. Next, other factors of the pain, as we mentioned before, for the formation of the or production of prostaglandins. So during the cycle, when there is increased production of progesterone, especially in the second phase of the menstrual cycle, that progesterone cause increased prostaglandin uh, is released. And this prostaglandin cause, uh, one way is it increases the production of endothelin and then leukotrienes and prostaglandin activating factors. All these are produced and all these can lead to contraction of the myometrium or muscle layer of the uterus. This contraction can cause pain. And then the other method by which they can cause is by decreased blood flow and decreased blood flow leads to hypoxia of the myometrial muscle and this hypoxia or angina can lead to pain. So two factors or two methods by which increased production of prostaglandins during the uh, uh, second half of the menstrual cycle by increased production of progesterone can lead to pain for uh, is one is through the reproduction of uh, leukotrienes and uh, endothelines and then other is by hypoxia or angina. 
So first, as we mentioned, prostaglandins, then their role of vasopressins and endothelins and platelet activating factors. All these can lead to contraction of the uterine muscle and cause uh, pain. And then other is by decreased blood flow and by myometrial angina that can cause pain. So this is the main reason for pain during the menstrual cycle. So that was all about the uh, uh, dysmenorrhea, what causes primary dysmenorrhea and how we can treat it. Thank you for watching scardia.com.